I really like Jordan. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes, I'm ready. Because you're over there with your M&Ms. Are you sure? You know what you're right. I'm going to go for lunch. We don't get a lunch around here. Yeah, I better talk to my employer. But anyway, we got Joe MF Dunham coming out here for this uh, next on match. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, and Mark Jaw and fans, I truly do not believe Joe MF Dunham is actually technically medically cleared to wrestle. What are you talking about? He's not medically cleared to wrestle. Look at him. He looks fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. The man just got done having heart surgery. What? When did that go on? That was not too long ago, Watch Jaw. I'm pretty sure he's still not medically cleared. Oh, then what is he doing right out there then? I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Somehow he must have got a pool between the doctors and the management team to allow him to be here and and wrestle here today. He made a big sting, but he's ready to go, he's able to do it, and that he wants a real challenge. He doesn't want to face a job in wrestling terms. He doesn't want to face some has been or anything like that. He's like with something with the impact, with the charisma, with the strength, the power. Right, so you're talking about you're talking about like Norman Yeager, or you're talking about Dirty Sanchez, or even the best of them all, Mysterio. Wait a minute, listen to that music, ladies and gentlemen. That can only be one thing, and I don't know who it is. I think it's JJ Genovese. That's that man's music right there. JJ Genovese. That's the end. What are you talking about? The F Factor Cyrus is stepping back into the ring. Holy shit. I can't believe this. Son. Damn, I, this guy so, retired. It's, I, I, from what I understood, he said that he was going, no, technically he said he was going to be taking a break. He needed to, you know, handle his family time and spend some time with family, let, let, let some of the injuries, you know, heal up and everything like that. But he never said that he was going to officially uh, from what I understand, uh, I could be wrong, but then again, let's not forget, Joe M. F. Dunham made the comment that he was looking for a real challenge, somebody who can, you know, really push his limits and everything, somebody would be in fact in prison and all that, but the key words here, my job is the it factor. That is the it factor right there, that man right there, Cyrus. He is truly the one and only it factor within the backyard wrestling scene. You're well, speechless. It's on, well, it's on his shirt. That's why I'm like thinking about it. Wait. Is he really the it factor? Really it. Really of course that man Could is the it factor. It. It's not just a shirt. It's not just a slogan. That man has had battles and wars. And not just in the UWF ring, but many, many other rings as well. All right. Well, the bell just rang, and we're going to we're gonna see about how this it factor will go in. If he took it, he's back from his break. Joe M.F. Donald, back from his heart surgery. And here we go. Both these men go right into a, a, a lockup. Oh, oh my look, God, that. look at that beautiful wrestling move there from Joe and McDonald. Now look at that. The F Factor run right to the ropes. See, he couldn't take a simple ha uh, hammer lock from that. No, it's called ring awareness. He's paying attention to where he is in that ring. Yeah, yeah, two different terminologies. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That no, was absolutely good. Just you know, smacking that little ball head around. I think Cyrus is making a wish. He, he was probably wishing that Joe and MF Dunham rethought this whole match idea. Why? Because he knows he's going to get his butt kicked, Jermail? Cyrus? Yeah, come on. There's no way Cyrus is going to get his butt kicked by that man. It's going to be Joe and McDonald that gets his butt kicked why, by just that man right there. Why, just because of his open heart surgery, it's going to put him back? Nah, this is why he's wrestling here. Because it's the ultimate wrestling federation. Exactly. Only the true ultimate ones wrestle here, can handle it here. Mm -hmm. So what the hell are you doing? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the match here. Joe M. McDonald taking control over here. Anybody who knows the effect of Cyrus knows that he loves to, you know, let the guys, you know, do what they need to do, tire themselves out, and then, then uh, when they feel as if they have the win, they're breaking the palm of their hand. He just snatches it away and he delivers a beautiful swing in that breaker, and then, and then, you know, it's pretty much cop calls after that. Oh, that sounds like he's copying off of somebody that I know. Really? Yeah. Can't guess who? Who? Well, Scorpion, of course, he gets his butt kicked all the time. Scorpion? Yeah, he does that a trick all the time. He gets he's his butt kicked, and then he does the win. Listen, Scorpion. But recently, he's been just getting his butt kicked and not winning, so. The, the, okay, but I give you that. But let's not forget the Scorpion the Assassin is on medical leave. He is not clear to wrestle at any time soon. He has suffered uh, uh, a... Uh, what you might call it, diverticulitis, I think it was, and you know, does some serious damage there and stuff. So, you know, you know, we saw we saw a video package that was up recently, not too long ago, from Scorpion talking about how you know, you know, he really wants to get his hands on 
on Yankee TVN and, you know, finally end this war once and for all and everything like that, but uh, from my understanding, he's still not medically cleared, so, but this is November Sacrifice. It's all about sacrifices, and uh, we, we'll wait and see if anything happens later on, but as of right now, the person who looks to be the guy that's going to be suffering a sacrifice here is going to be Cyrus, because Joe M.F. Dunham is definitely not... You know, letting up on him. Yeah. yeah, definitely not holding back any punches. See, what did I tell you? The effect is letting him tire himself out. See, that's what I said. He lets he lets his opponents tire themselves out, and then he starts having some fun. Here comes up some onesies and the twosies. Are we gonna see it, Lockjaw? Are we gonna I see think... the kind of swinging neck breaker? No, I always say that swing. No, that there was quite like that swinging neck breaker. He just did to Joe I'm in a tunnel. That was a beautiful swinging neck breaker. Goes for the cover here. Two and no. Just and look at that, see. He Jesus. still gets out, on out of that. You think the F-Factor lost his touch? Mostly, mostly that stuff would take, take people out like that. Maybe, but you know, I gotta give a little bit of credit to Joe M. McDonald for getting back into the ring, you know, so, so soon after that heart surgery. And he actually, you know, he took control at the beginning of this match here, but, you know, he made the grave mistake of, you know, you know, dishing out what he had right away. He should have, you know, allowed Cyrus to fire back a little bit and let Cyrus tire himself out. Look at Cyrus is working on the arm there. Do you still have hopes that Joe McDonald's going to walk out of here, Doctor? Look at him. Look at him crawling on the ground, flopping like a little fishy. Ah, that's only his arm flopping like a fish, okay? He could get himself right back up. If this man's doing, you know, he was doing good in the beginning, even with the heart surgery, he's acting he could actually do this match, okay? Well, we're going to find out a beautiful, beautiful suplex there from, from the effector Cyrus. And look at Joe McDonald favoring that back. Oh, look, ring away. Look, see that foot? Oh, no, never mind. It's not just, Lashley. Just that, uh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. He thought he was going to get his foot on a rope. You're absolutely no. Oh, no, I was under the rope, I was saying. Okay. Uh, and look at that. The yeah, factor side was just moving him away from the rope there. Joe and McDonald trying to, you know, use and use the rope for a rope break there, and it definitely wasn't going to happen. Cyrus working on that shoulder, picking that. Oh, come on! Did you see that? That was I such a cheap right move. What, what, what cheap move are you talking about? That was such a cheap move. What cheap move are you saying that he did? Yeah. I didn't say anything. And that man calls himself a wrestler. I don't think so. A little right to the eyes here, to the effect. He didn't go for the eyes. What are you talking about? He well, got out of that. He got out of that move fair and square. No cheating at all. Well. No, he definitely raked the eyes. What do you think he did? Rub Cyrus's head? What is he, jealous that Cyrus has hair and he doesn't? Hey, listen, the F-Factor was also rubbing his head earlier, okay? I... Well, just getting him back. He was just trying to help him out. He didn't want him to get, you know, sunburned on that bald head. Well, let's see, neither way. He kicked out. Joe M.F. Dunham was not able to get it. Get the back. All right, Joe M.F. Dunham taking lead control over here. And, oh, my God! Did you just see Oh, that, that was like a chicken wing, I gotta say. He, he just literally just bent him in a way that he's definitely not supposed to be going on. Oh, look, look, Joe. look like he's going for the legs now. He was definitely trying to say, which lady again, there goes the effect and just shoves him off like a bag of potatoes. I could go for some french fries. I'm speaking of potatoes. Hey, I mean, like I said, you know, it's supposed to be lunchtime right now. The boss isn't gonna have us a lunch. We should probably have a good talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Have a sure. union on this. That, don't no, we have a union? Do a union. Don't not we not have a union it. on this? Absolutely. Oh, look at him out. Yeah, He's throwing him right off the rope. The rope. Oh, and I'm gonna fuck the rope. Oh, that down, Joe. Joe is down, ladies and gentlemen. The yeah, factor. I think he's gonna get ready to wind it up here. Though I, I would actually be pretty surprised if this is over so quickly. Are we gonna see the patented elbow? Watch out, are we going to see the patent elbow? Do you think so? Uh, uh, maybe. Uh, looks like he's, mean, he's setting up for it right now. He's setting it up. Let's see if he can still do it. Let's see if there's still some gas in the tank here. Here we go! And oh, he oh, was able that to. Was absolutely beautiful. There's only one man that can perfect that just like that. And that has Batman right there, the effector Cyrus, with a beautiful elbow drop. Oh, but she not beautiful set. enough to take him out. See? So we'll see what happened there when Cyrus allowed him to get up. Cyrus allowed him to get he up. He allowed him to get up. What are you talking about? He allowed him to he, get up. He that was pure strength that, you know, he, Joe was able to get back on up. Cyrus was just allowing Joe M.F. Dunham to, you know, you know have allowing. a glimpse of hope that there just may be a chance. Allowing. That's allowing. what you call this? Hey, look at this. Oh, it looks like Joe, Joe M.F. Dunham. Uh, He's going for it. There it is. This power. match is over, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. No. Oh. That's possible. That could be. 
just that cannot be. Count. The referee doesn't know how to count. What do you mean he doesn't know he how to count? He doesn't know how to count. Of he course was, he knows how to count. No, he doesn't. He was counting. He was counting really slow. Listen, it doesn't take much to be a referee. All you gotta do is count to three. There's a lot to do with a referee. Don't well, you know that? Technically, technically, ten. technically, count to ten. Technically, to ten, but I'm pretty sure the referee knows how to count to ten. I don't know. Definitely to three. I don't know what you mean. This is a whole new ref. I haven't seen him cut to 10 yet. Oh, no. Here we go. Joe's setting him up for another one. No, Cyrus is firing back. He's fighting back. No. Are we going to see it, ladies and gentlemen? Can he get Joe up? Oh, it looks like he got him right up. He got him up. Here comes the case curse, ladies and gentlemen. No. Excellently. Down goes the man with the Is that a tooth on the ring I see right there? Joe Evan Dunham's gonna be needing a new neck. He's gonna be needing a new back and a new heart. No! And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's a three. No, no, no. What a fantastic, a fantastic back right there. And holy Fantastic. Crap. What are you talking about? Joe lost right here. That was beautiful. And you know what? It was done in like 10 minutes. That's, that is fantastic. 10 minutes? Ten wait, minutes. wait. The effector could take someone out in five. He definitely lost his touch here. Well, he was just toying with Joe. Well, I mean, he was toying with Joe. He pulled everything onto Joe, and he was still coming up. But I think everything to Joe. This is the last, last He did last. the elbow drop. He this did the swinging neck you breaker. You and he also did. I'm oh, telling you what's going on here. This man, he's losing his touch right here. Congratulations to that man right there, the effector, Cyrus. So sorry for Mr. Joe M.F. Dunham. It looks like he's going to have to, you know, go back to the, uh, you know, drawing board and, you know, hit the training square again. And, oh, oh, what's this? What's this? You you root for this man. He was just cooling him off. You root for this man. He just poured water all over this man. He, God's face. he was hot. Cyrus was just cooling him off a little bit. Jeez. All right, that is some disrespect I say right there. Joe, I'm going to run his mouth saying that this ain't over. You hear me? I don't fear you. Actually, Bring I think that's on. more of the I can't hear you one. Oh, well, either way. There he is. Hail to the king, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations yep. to the F Factor Cyrus. Job well done. I know I'm forming that union against the boss. Get out of here.